What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. Young Ill, Young Ill, Young Ill returns to battle rap and got a lot of people in battle rap talking. So apparently the people was impressed with his showing against Saga. Given it was a better showing than the previous battles he had with Big K, Briz, Roth, Thing, John, John, those were terrible battles. And the people do like Young Ill. I like Young Ill as far as like who he used to be. And everybody want him to get back to that greatness. Well, after this saga battle, man, it was a private uh, 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 event that was this close to the public. So they wasn't allowed to see it or nothing like that. So words started going around that Young Eel after the battle had a good battle. They say this was the Young Eel. He brought the old Young Eel back and words just got to going around and everybody was saying how he 30 Saga and all this. I'm like, dang, he 30 Saga? Did he really come back that hard like that? But, you know, you got to look into these things yourself because people be lying, exaggerating a lot. And then there's so many battle rap groupies that you don't even really have to do that good. All you have to do is just be decent. And then they'll skyrocket it and make it seem bigger than what it is. But I couldn't wait to hear it because, again, it was something new, new. Basically, the battle rap eel don't even rap that much. So anytime you rarely get to see somebody of that magnitude because his name still big, even though he ain't been good as lately, but you still want to see the brothers do 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 uh well especially with all the baggage that's been said about him and things like that so i couldn't wait to see the battle so i could see for myself so the battle i ended up getting a link to it i ended up watching the battle and i'm just gonna keep it 100. i wasn't impressed I'm saying to myself, like, okay, y'all said this with the old young ill. This ain't the old young ill. What none of that, what nothing he said better than any other battles young ill did that made us like young ill when he was that dude. When he arguably might have been the best dude in St. Louis, you could argue him a verb at one time. Even verb said at one time when young ill was just on a roll like that, verb was like, if him and Young Ill battled each other, somebody asked them, and they were doing the time bird with that dude. They was asking him who he think would win. And he said, Young Ill probably would beat me. You get what I'm saying? So he showed them love on that. However, so what I heard about Young Ill, that was nothing. That was light. I'm keeping it real. That was light compared to what battle rap is. But again, people want him to do good he got through his rounds too so as long as he got through his rounds and he wasn't terrible being i right, people looked at it as being a plus it is a plus to some degree but it's not it wasn't good it was average if any if any battle rapper of importance of who we have like geechee couldn't have said that and got away with that twerk couldn't have said that and got away with that Rum Nitty couldn't have said that and got away with that. Rock couldn't have said that and got away with that. Goods couldn't have said that, got away with that. Calico couldn't say that, got away with that. None of them could have got away with that. The only reason why he got away with that was because people want to see him succeed. They want to see him win. And it's okay, rightfully so, but I ain't finna gas it up. I ain't finna gas it up at all. And I don't know if he even beat Saga. I wasn't keeping score. I don't even know if he even beat Saga. I need to recap that battle and do score because, matter of fact, I think I did. I just ain't got the paper on me. I'm going to redo it anyway. I'll watch it again because, nah, I ain't going to watch it again. I ain't going to even hold you, man. I'm keeping it real. It ain't that, it ain't that serious to me. I'm just keeping it real. But it was okay. It wasn't fire like they were saying and making it out to be. Again, some people love battle rap so much, much, they just be ready to jump on a bandwagon. They be ready to ride somebody else. I ain't that person, man. So 
with that being said, it was okay. It was average. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It was just average, you know. Um, and I got something to say to you too, Saga, in that battle too. I'm gonna do a blog on that. Um, he said something that rubbed me the wrong way, real, real bad, that I need to address and put before the forefront because that's terrible. Anyway, going back to Young Ill. So after the Young Ill battle, people were congratulating him on how good he did and. They basically was asking them, what's his next move? And according to Young Ill, Young Ill, like, I want to go to the trenches. I want to take my talent to Philly. I want to do it at the trenches. And y'all know who I want to do it with. So I was thinking to myself, he himself, like, maybe he talking about Reed Dollars. Because that would be a step up. If you're trying to get yourself, I, okay, I like the saga approach. If you're trying to come back in the game and take a few battles before you start taking the Giants. I get that. So, so, so Saga is a fair battle to take to get yourself right, get yourself back into the flow and the rhythm. Then when he said he wanted to go to trenches, I'm thinking Reed Dollars. Okay, that's another good one because you ain't ready for the top dogs yet. Get yourself together. Let yourself, you know, you still got some things to work on. You still got to work on your stage presence because you ain't got that no more. You still got to work on. Um, Yo, lyrics, you still ain't really got that no more. You still don't seem confident up there, really. You know what I'm saying? So, um, read dollars would be a good one. But then when they talking about easy to block Captain, I'm like, uh uh, that's suicide. He ain't ready for that. He ain't ready for that. See, this is what I mean by knowing your opponent. If you're trying to get back in the game, people liking you don't take easy now that's gonna destroy your stock and set you back i'm keeping it real that's gonna set you back for real you're gonna have to start all over again and it's gonna erase any positive thing that they saying good about you right now because that that would be like giving honey to a bear i'm keeping it real that's how easy that'll be for easy you can't make it that easy for him and I'm just going to keep it real. That crackhead stuff, certain battlers, you can't take with that on you. And that's one of them. He going to have a feel. You know, the, the way that dude rap again, him, him as a person and character, terrible. But as a battle rapper, I can't take nothing away from that dude. That dude is a killer. Okay. Him battling you, you not going to stand a chance. He may do you worse than anybody ever did you with that stigma over you because that's the way he rap. That's the way he rap. And it's sort of like, again, I'm not calling you this, but this is the stigma that's on you. A crackhead and all and all he talk about is being a drug dealer and a plug dude. No, he going to kill you all three rounds. He going to, that's just like having a whore battle with pimp. No, that pimp should smoke them every smoke her every time. No, it's just certain certain things are just an automatic no. That's an automatic no. You're not ready to battle no easy to block captain right now. Not at all. I, I wouldn't even set myself up for that. Read dollars, yes. Take a read dollars. Take a dot. Work your way up, man. Start with the start with the uh work around the mid tiers and PGs. Work around them. Work around the snake eyes. Work around the stumbles. Them. Work around the drugs. Them. Work around them dudes. Don't shoot at them giants. Don't let your arrogance and pride set you back, bro. Because if you try to battle easy to block captain, that you ain't gonna win around. That's gonna be death. You're going to be looking stupid up there. The things he going to say, writing about your condition and situation, that's going to be bad. That's going to be hella bad. So I, I scratch that, bro. Scratch that. If you're trying to be successful in battle rap, scratch that. I'm keeping it 100. Scratch that. That ain't the one to battle. And, and then that's another thing. You don't even you don't even do personals. 
You may mention something, but you don't stay there. He's going to stay there. He's going to give you three rounds of personals, breaking you, breaking your whole character down. Like literally break. Did you see what he was saying to Chess about Chess choking? Imagine what he'll say to you and you got the stigma on you for smoking, smoking crack. And all he talked about is dope and how it affect people. Oh my gosh, bro. Some things you just don't do. Be smart. Don't let your pride and arrogance set you back. Be smart. That's not a wise battle to take. Trust me, I'm giving you some good advice. That's not a wise battle to take. Take some of these other guys. Don't take none of these giants yet. You ain't you ain't seasoned where you need to be right now. You don't. You got a lot you still need to work on, bro. I'm sorry. Don't let these people gas you up. Don't let these people set you up. At least. Keep the balance where, you know, okay, again, your material ain't fire right now, young ill. It's okay. So battle the battle rappers who okay. See, Reed Dollars ain't fire. He okay. Saga can be fire, but for the most part, he just okay. Stay in that range where you won't be drowned out. Where you won't be drowned out. Don't go up there where the killer's at. Don't go where the killer's at, where they're going to tell you apart and eat you alive because you're not ready yet. You're not ready yet, bro. Sorry, you just ain't ready yet. If you take easy right now, that's a stupid decision to make on the business end. It really is. It really is. You better capitalize and get this battle rap money that's out here and stay and stay stay battling people that's average until you can get it together because you ain't ready yet you not i'm just keeping it 100. i wasn't impressed with what i saw at all you're not ready you're ready yet you still got a lot of things to work on and i'm keeping it real easy will tell you apart that'd be that he that's why that's why he would love that battle see it benefits him it don't benefit you it benefit him it don't benefit you because he know he coming in with an easy win. He coming in with an easy win. And he coming in uh, knowing you got a lot to work on. He ain't got to change nothing. He ain't got to change none of his material because you the one his material is written for. The things he write about is actually for guys that th the things they saying about you. So you fit his material. You can go to every easy to block captain battle that we call fire and that material fit what they say about you. So that wouldn't be smart to do. That wouldn't be battle J Mills. See, these are the names you battle. Battle your J Mills, battle your Reed Dollars. You can battle drugs. You can battle uh, 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 snake eyes. And them. You can battle true foes. Stay, stay where the balance at, where you won't get lost in the sauce, where you won't be drowned it out. Lead them giants along. See, you can't battle a Geechee guy. You can't battle them. Them dudes will tell you apart, man. You can't battle them type of dudes. Mm -mm. Lead them along. For real, real talk. Um, with that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours. You ain't ready yet, bro.